in fighting. He thinks like a spider and how it would hunt and get its prey and trap its prey. Like what? Humans? Hmm? Humans? <laughs> well, no, like flies. They don't eat humans. They can't. He just said he, he fights like a spider. He does other things like he what? doesn't he, eat he, like a spider. He, he just fights like he one. just fights like he just fights like. One. Just say that. You know. My Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to a part two episode with Miss Alzheimer. But this time it's different to six after hours, so we kind of have more time than usual. We have actually less time. We have like 30 minutes. Have, we got half an hour. All right, we got a half an hour to talk about about three things. Mm -hmm. Who's better? I know just enough that I don't know about. I'm assuming you all have had this conversation. Y'all should be ready for this conversation. Well, we haven't had the same conversation. No. <laughs> but no. Spider Man, no, they know. Spider who's better? Spider Man and Batman. Another thing is the Mortal Kombat versus DC universe, mm. which is kind of the same universe. And because uh, it's all DC. And 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 which is better, chicken tundies or nuggies? Exactly. He said tundies. Okay. Tundies. Chicken tundies. 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 All right, but all right. okay. Keep it. Can we Now before we do this, oh, let's go over the ground rules. I want to just make sure we have ground rules because like last time, and that ground rule is like we have to define what version we're talking about, right? Right. So because yeah, otherwise it doesn't make sense. Like so, if we're gonna do Spider Man, are we talking about Spider Man cartoons? Are we talking about Spider Man uh, comics? Are we talking about the Spider Man movies? Are we talking about which Spider Man movie are we talking about? You see, so just I'm more sense. when it comes to Spider Man and Batman, I'm more talking about the games, but more so the movies. If anything, like the games are just usually what I reference <laughs> from. And then use games. Which game are you talking about? Because the games are from a different either movie or cartoon, etc. Mm -hmm. Just so like if we have a fair comparison. So let's say if you do the Spider-Man of the 1970s cartoon versus the Batman of the Arkham series. That, that's an unfair here. fight. Exactly. It's not a fair fight. All right. Boom. All point. right. Well, can we're going to get into the first one, which is Spider-Man versus uh, Batman. Spooderman. Yes. Um, when it comes to Spider-Man, we're going to go by games, mm. which is kind of a hard part. Mm. So it's gonna be in the Insomniac games, which is the newer games for Spider Man, like the two new like the, the Spider Verse ones that just came out? No, um, you know the Spider Man PS four uh games. All right, you, you your husband will probably know. Yeah, I'm just in my familiar, so just just talk. I yeah. Can, your husband will probably know, but we call him basically the Arkham like we call him we basically call him the Batman of uh of oh, Marvel. I thought you were talking about Spider Man, I'm like, okay. Nah. I'm like, okay, gotcha. I'm actually gotcha. actually before we get into this, shout out. Oh, Yay. Oh, shout out to oh, Kiki wow. from the Spice Girls for being our camera woman after re after saying no multiple times. Yay. She she will. <laughs> I, I don't know how to. I don't know what to plug. Don't so worry, gonna, don't, worry, don't worry about. It. She'll beat us up after. Was, yeah, she's gonna kill us. Free life anyway. insurance. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway. So you saw my Arkham Batman. So Arkham. So Batman from like Arkham City, Arkham mm -hmm. Asylum, Arkham gotcha. Knight. All those. So we're talking about a Batman that is brutal, a Batman that kills, a Batman. Well, that Batman doesn't kill. He just he's just brutal. He's just very brutal. Well, didn't we make the argument last time that he no. caused no. injuries? Yeah, yeah. That's the argument that we had, right? Mm -hmm. So okay, so maybe not. Like he gets you to a hospital though. He'll commit manslaughter, but not homicide. <laughs> right, pretty okay, much. Gotcha. He'll just brutally beat you, ah. but yeah, I mean, which is Spider-Man, who also does the same thing. He, after brutally beating you, he'll web you and, le and let the police and ambulance come get you from your location after undoing his webs. Ah. Anyway. <coughs> yes, this is a nerd out. I don't know what you're making that face for. <laughs> Queen of the nerds. Queen, Jesus. Yes, you're in, the, you're in the podcast for the nerds. What do you expect? All right. So, I have a question, and it's so. not necessarily Batman versus Superman, but, okay, mm -hmm. so... Again, I don't have a whole bunch of knowledge about Spider Man other than the movies. Um, because I didn't like Which Spider movies? Character. Tom Holland is the one who made me really. Oh my God, get out of here. That's the one who made me love Spider Man. I didn't get out of here. I barely. 
You're done. Like, I'm leaving. Go <laughs> home. Goodbye. Oh yeah. Like, Toby right? McGuire. Right. Yeah. Like which one do you think is the most true? I thought it came out of his body, not that he had to make it. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. yeah. Well, when it comes, I so the best one in my opinion. Well, they're all very good, but the best one in my opinion is um Andrew Garfield. Andrew Garfield. The only reason yeah. is because he moves like a literal spider when fighting. He thinks like a spider and how it would hunt and get its prey and trap its prey. Like what? Humans? Hmm? Humans? <laughs> well, no. Like flies. They don't eat humans. They can't. You just said he, he fights like a spider. He does other things. Like he, he doesn't like, eat he, like a spider. He, he just fights like he him. just fights like he just fights like. Him. You say that. You know my brain he can't comprehend. He just said that. I just said that. You stupid. He didn't say he eats like one. He said he fights like one. Have uh, you seen him fight? Commercial break. So you said so because his body, <laughs> yeah. what it is to be a spider. Yeah. Including he, the fluids coming out. Well, he doesn't have the fluids. He makes the fluid. That's no, the only. No, he's the one who did have the fluids. No, no, no. Who makes it? Oh, no, no. Toby. Uh, Toby Toby's the, right, the one who, right. who just shoots it out of nowhere. Like, okay. Pause. <laughs> okay. Can we just. Can we just. Pause. Can we not do your talk? My brain can't handle it. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. We're Loser. nerding out whether you like it or not. Yeah. All right, Ms. You, you're a nerd yourself. I don't want to hear it. I'm talking, Loser. The, I'm talking about the big words. My oh. brain can't comprehend. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Using it, using, it, using it in idiot terms. He shoot big. He, he shoot, shoot. He big shoot small out sticky of wrist part. out of wrist. Out of wrist. Like to swing off. Like that. Yeah. That. Webby come out of wrist parts. I. It attaches to building. Okay. Stop. So like, yeah, okay. Right. They have a fluid. But then in the what's his name? Uh, Toby McGuire. Toby, Toby McGuire. McGuire one, it came out of, but I'm saying you have not. Been, I yeah, I do. So the reason, because unlike with Andrew Garfield and uh, Tom, Holland. Tom Holland, he uh, it was it just sounded cooler that the that the spider was him, mm -hmm. in a sense where okay, instead of. Yeah, they all got bit, but like his was like, okay, you're getting, you're not gonna get take things taken away. We're gonna put the raw embodiment of the spider, meaning you're basically part spider in a bit now. But that's all for them. Not really. Yes, really. Well, really, but like not really in my opinion, because like, okay, may you may have the strength, you may have the abilities, but Feeling power, it, speed. Yeah, that's why. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. The power and abilities, but. If you don't have the ability to shoot out a web out of your body and you need to make a chemical or something for it, you're not you're not you're not a real you're not a real Spider Man in my opinion. Wait, I can't go agree with that argument. You know why I can't agree with that argument? Well, here we go. Huh? No. <laughs> <laughs> huh? <laughs> I, don't, I don't think that's his reason, Miss Alzheimer. Um, that's my rebuttal. <laughs> that's his rebuttal. Uh, not his reason. Uh, hey, yo. Twice. Answer, I can't agree with it because the reason it goes against my principles. You're saying that that Spider-Man, the like better one, is because he's more like a superhero. And one reason why I think Batman is one of the best superheroes because he doesn't have any special powers and abilities. So I can't agree with you on principle that his is better because he can do it and he doesn't have to use any man man-made materials because that would go against Batman. I thought you always said something else. Hey, well, we'll, we'll talk about it after when the camera's cut off. I'll keep the mics on. All right, so I can't go to the argument because if I agree with that, that means Batman can be the better. Of course, well, I mean, I think so. Well, Spider Man will still. Spider Man will beat him in a fight in either way, so it's like, done. I doubt it. You I mean, guys got Batman any take on that? Because I think. People like Dark Side. That doesn't really mean much, though, in the grand scheme of things. Dark Side only took an interest to Batman because Dark Side notices Batman's, like, you know. Powerless strategies. In the I know. I feel like Darkseid noticed that Batman would have would have blown up basically everything, including his team, to win, to win and kill him. You know, you did Cyborg. Cyborg, Cyborg, Cyborg. He had the, the virus. Right. Literally, Cyborg. He had the virus. Right. Wonder Woman. He had. What do you have for Wonder Woman? I don't know what he had for one of them. I only know what he did to the cyborg. But I know he had a plan for everybody to Crip. plan. And so the, when you had her, I know we're switching universes. With the problem with your uh, Captain America, the problem with your Superman, the problem with your Spider-Man, the problem with, uh, I'm trying to think of X-Men I can think of. 
Wolverine. Part of Professor X oh. versus oh, Magneto right. is that they are Professor X wouldn't do what needs to be done. Magneto would do what needs to be done. So I think when I talk about the building of who's the most powerful or who would win, it's who's willing to go that extra mile. If I know that no matter what I do, you're not gonna hit me, or you're not gonna hit me with all your force, then I'm gonna <coughs> go. I can go hard as I want to. But if you know I will, then you know what I'm saying. Or no. You know it's what? Like, uh, <coughs> equal, equal if you're talking about thing. Who's, well, who's the worst, this be the person's willing to right. get done. All right. All right. We're going to put it like this. What's the newest movie? Uh, no, what's the second oldest Batman movie? Second oldest Batman movie was an Adam West movie that was made like, oh, wait, I'm lying. 19, George Reeves. George Reeves. So then we're talking about 1940s. Yeah, no, that not that, was. not that. Uh, so you talking about in the modern era? Yeah, modern, modern. Five modern. So we have the modern. Okay. Like, did y'all see the Flash with Michael Keaton? Yes, mm-hmm. I hate Michael that Keaton's movie. Like, but Michael Keaton is in it. The CW Flash is better. He low key got manhandled. The CW and Flash is better. A, the, okay, so, so, so my brain just exploded a little bit. So that's 1989. So I would include the modern era if you want to go. Uh, if we talk about the history of Batman and that started in the 1930s or 40s, um, then I would say the dividing line would be 1989. Because if you had the Tim Burton Batman movies right. of 1989, 1990. You know, I th- the Ben Affleck ones are. The Ben Affleck this ones one, right? are 2010. <laughs> All right, we'll do that one. So you want to. So we talk, so talk about three eras of Batman. All right, yeah. I, we, yeah. So we got the old, old, old Batman. That's from like 1930 to like, let's go to 1980. Right. Um, we have the middle, we have the Batman 1989 to 2000. So you don't want to talk about the Superman, the current DC universe. All right. Yeah. So that's what about, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So look, now, Andrew Garfield is also what, two th- around 2010? Uh, Something like that. Before no, 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 no. That wasn't 2007. Mm-hmm. No, because Spider Man 3 came out in 2007. No, the one with the black suit, uh, Tobey Maguire, mm-hmm. the, the one that Sam Raimi made. Yeah, that was 2010. My brain hurts. I just had to think. Because in the Amazing Spider-Man Two was 2012, right? And that so, was four, right. So no. Ben Affleck's. Uh, I'm looking, I'm looking up right. the movie. Ben Affleck's uh, Batman, which is 2010, versus versus uh, versus Andrew Garfield's uh, Spider-Man movies. The, take both heroes. I'm thinking Spider Man's Spider Man might barely come out alive, but he's gonna win. He's like, I I, I love. Him. I know. I hear what you're saying. I'm trying to. I'm trying I, to I love him. My, my man, this whole, is he's this, he's the best. Is this the he's better than Garfield Spider Man that has Simonoid on him that makes him more powerful? He's just regular Spider Man. Regular Spider Man. No, I'm thinking I'm I think he'd beat him character in in the fight. If he that's what I'm saying, he barely come out alive because Batman's very skilled. I, I don't know why I started messing with that. You know what Stanley? We know who Stanley is. Correct? Yeah, yeah. yeah Stanley did yeah. say that it all depends on who the writer, writer is. Exactly. wants. It really just depends on who the writer is. That's what Stanley says. So Stanley said like people go and ask him all the time about these battles and who will win. It's like whoever the I writer mean, wants whatever's best for the movie. Be cool to see it though. So it would be cool to see it. So I, I mean, we all know what Captain America did to him. Stark, tell you anything else? Seconds? No, that was like that was his first fight. That wasn't really that his, fir- was his first fight. He was a friendly neighborhood spider. Oh, right. That oh, was yeah. His, right. That was his first major fight. That was his first major, like, you that know, extreme fight. Because the, the how I know about, um, I know about Tom Holland through Homecoming. I didn't really pay attention. That, is after right. But what I'm saying is, Marvel. yeah, yeah, it's after. Is after it's, no, it's like. It starts off during and then it goes to after. Cause no, no, no. Civil War is first and then it's homecoming. Isn't it movie right? No, I'm talking homecoming? about like timeline. Yes. I'm no, I'm talking about timeline oh. wise. Cause like you see bits of like the beginning of the movie, you see bits of it talking about him talking about 
it was like directly like like what like a week or a month or so, month or so after that fight uh-huh. right he's talking about it because he made videos about it yeah so it's crazy. Uh, right I'm, i was tweaking out I, I had the wrong list but that's how i figured out about tom holland i didn't know of him until i figured out he was gonna be playing spider-man i didn't know he was playing spider-man in civil war until i saw homecoming and and in my opinion he okay he may have the most movies he may have some of the better looking suits but overall he's not he's nowhere near in the best versions of spider-man i'd put him at the like in my top 10 he'd be number 10 and where most people would put uh tom holland this you know the spectacular spider-man animated series that would be that he would be there that Spider-Man would be there. No, I agree. I think that it also has Miles number four. I has the benef- it has the benefit of uh you have a whole Marvel universe and you have characters. Like the pro- one problem with Batman movies is okay, I know we said what's up, but you had like the Tim Burton Batmans. That was two of the same versus same Batman. And then they did like really hokey movies like with Arnold Schwarzenegger and Tommy Lee Jones with the Riddler and Mr. Freeze in like the nineties, the early two thousands. So then that was, those movies went away. You had like the Christopher Nolan ones where you had the Dark Knight, Dark Knight Rises, and Batman Begins, which are great movies, but they were standalone. And then you had the newer movies where they tried to do what Marvel did with Build a Universe, but they all, the stories, they weren't faithful to the stories or did something. So they had the benefit of all that. Yeah. I know that you, you watched the, um, the Batman, right? You know, the newer movie mm-hmm. for Batman that came out. So I saw a video where it was talking about, oh, this is the last thing about Batman before we go into um, Marvel. No, not Marvel, um, Mortal Kombat. But I saw this thing to where it was like, I get, they were comparing all the Batman in the movies and it's like, and they compar- they portrayed the character as like, okay, when he's gonna jump off to use the glider thing, mm-hmm. he was like, he was terrified. Well, he was in character terrified and usually he wouldn't show that. Uh, how would you, how do you feel about, how would you feel about that? Batman movie itself? Yeah. Well, no, about that scene and the movie itself. I like the Batman movie itself because remember... It's last, all very scatterbrained. Last podcast, when I was like, that DC stands for Detective Comics. And so the Batman movie, I like where it went back to the origin of he's just a regular human. He's using his wealth and his intelligence to help solve these crimes. So um, because it's kind of... Kind of, it is kind of is. Yeah, I, I, I don't think it makes. I, th- I don't think it, it takes away from the character. Only um, part that I think takes away from it is like he gets a little bit scared. I'm used to seeing like a fearless Batman, or like okay. Why is Batman? Hmm? I didn't mean to cut you off, but why is Batman named Batman? What is he scared of? He's scared of bats. He's scared of bats. Wait, what? Blood bats, most of the way. That's frightened me. This time my enemies shared my dread. Yeah, he he's scared of bats. He's scared of bats? He's scared of bats, that's why he made his a Batman. He wants to stoke in, he wants to stoke fear into what? So are you the expert? I mean, Is I'm she the expert? <laughs> cause... I mean, no, she because did like, you not know me that? And her, me and her look both confused. I'm like, camera, like, on the office. Did y'all uh-huh. not know that? <laughs> no, yes, that I, man is scared of bats. I thought, I thought he used no. Because I thought, he's scared of, so he wants to. The thing that's scared him, he wants to terrify <laughs> other people with. No, I thought it. I thought it was because he would like. Lived over cage. Most people, well, that, <laughs> well, that, and most people don't like bats either way. So like he'd scare them because like they already don't like it. So they see a human shaped no, bat. Using his, he's using his fear. You so know, again, that is more authentic to Batman character because Batman's little. He's scared of losing another <laughs> family member, so he doesn't allow anybody to get too close. You know. What I'm mm. Then there's That's why Terry. He, like when you have your cat with other women and from beyond, from Batman Beyond. Yeah. Then there's Terry. Yeah. Mm. Ready for more combat. Yeah. Okay, this is more of my area. So, if you didn't know, I think it was around like the 2010s, okay. where there was this um the DC this the DCEU or AU I don't know what it is called, but the DCU had this thing going on to so was like okay, we have Mortal Kombat, we have Injustice. What, what the Mortal Kombat gunfire DC? DC it, makes the Mortal Kombat games. 
DC makes that. They're not in the same universe, though. They mixed them. For, the, for this series, they mixed the universes. Here's how it went, right? Mm. So, uh, somehow, some way, I think it involves Raiden and it involves Scorpion and all that, and they yeah. get teleported into Metropolis. By who? Lex Luthor? I, I think so. I don't remember. So, basically, Quan Chi sends that little crew there and then more people follow suit so and basically like the most majority of the mortal kombat verse is now in metropolis mm -hmm. and they're helping out well, in the justice league mainly batman is helping out uh scorpion and raiden so they can get back home so they can have their little tournament and do whatever decide to face the fate of that universe and to stop quan chi and the, yeah, uh, well, I'll post all these pictures. I'll post all the pictures in there so you can understand. I'll actually show you a little. Wait. I got a question. I got a question. How did, How it, did it end? end? Kid, my 